Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Praise, Praise the Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now for the best part, amen. Yes. We're going to take up a love offering from Brother Craig. It's my pity, amen, for the ministry that God's born to you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless him, God. Lord, have your way tonight. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Amen. How many folk love the Lord tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give Jesus a good hand high for us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's good to be here again tonight. Good to be in God's house. Good to see each and every one of you that are that are here with us tonight. And uh, I'm just so excited about what God is doing and what God is going to do tonight. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. I've got my sister-in-law with me tonight, and she uh, sings uh, at church, and she leads all my singing for me. So uh, she said uh, uh, she wanted to come to church tonight, and I said, well, if you do, you're going to have to sing for us. So uh, she's going to sing for us tonight. So I'm going to ask Sister Linda, if you would, if you'll come on tonight. And if you would, uh, make her feel welcome tonight. Put your hands together. Tomorrow night, and uh, Chris, he'll be with us tomorrow night, and he'll uh, he sings, and and I reckon he'll try to sing a song for us tomorrow night as well. All right, this is Linda Smith. Give, give her another good hand. Tonight. Amen. Bless her, Lord. It's so good to be here tonight, with all y'all. Lord kept us safe on our trip up here, though I wondered about it a time or two. But thank <laughs> 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 God for it. Y'all just pray for me.
Praise the Lord. Do one more for us while you're there, see us. <laughs> oh, really, God. If you don't sing, you sing one for us. Amen, amen.
glad for that Holy Spirit tonight. Amen. What about you? Amen. The key of A. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We had a um, um, we had a lady at the church and um, <clears throat> that um, uh, she's younger than we, well, I guess she may be uh, our age, but anyway, in her forties, I'll put you that way, in her forties, and um, she went today for a arteriogram um, on her heart, you know. And um, so Sunday at church, the Lord gave us a word for her, and uh, and the Lord told me that when she went to have the arteriogram done that it was going to come back that there was no blockages whatsoever. And uh, her husband got a word from the Lord at the gas station pumping his gas uh, Sunday afternoon that it was all already taken care of. So this morning at 11.30 I called just to find out to see how they took her down or, or she done got back. And at 11.30, uh, you know, they were... They were um, you know, getting ready to take her down, and I said, "Well, I'll uh, I'll call back in, in about an hour." So I called back in about an hour, maybe wrong on my timing, but call back in about an hour. And I said, uh, "Brother Lord," I said, uh, "Have they came back with her?" And he said, "Brother Greg," he said, "They've been in back about ten minutes." And I said, "Well," I said, uh, well, "What was the report?" He said, "No blockages." So this song here came to me, and uh, I don't know, maybe we can get through it, a key of A. again tonight and with God's people and to be able to share with you a word from the Lord tonight. Yes. If you'd open up your Bibles with us tonight to the book of Isaiah, the 48th chapter. I will have one verse coming out of Isaiah chapter 48 and then we're going to 1 Kings tonight, chapter 18. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isaiah tonight, the 48th chapter, verse number 21. And when you have Isaiah chapter 48, would you say amen to let me know you're there with us tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now last night we preached to you entitled, Rebuilding Your Altars. Amen. Rebuilding Your Altars. Come on. And tonight, for just a little while, I want to preach to you simply entitled, 
Is it still right? Is it still right? Is it still Look right? at your neighbor and ask your neighbor tonight, is it still raining? Is it still, still raining? raining? Is it still raining? Man. When I left Alabama tonight, the weather forecast man said that when sometimes in the night we're going to get some rain. Yes. And it's going to be scattered rain, and it's not going to be rain just covering all over, but you're going to go a while, and you're going to hit a, a spot that where the, there's a rain cloud there. Yeah. Come on, bro. And as you go drive through those rain clouds, there will be some downpours, he said. Yeah. Uh, but what, it wasn't uh, severe weather, but it was going to be some downpours. Look at your and say downpours. Yeah. Downpours. Downpours. And then you're going to drive out of that that little rain spell, then you're going to go into what I call a dry spell. Look at your neighbor and say a dry spell. Dry spell. Dry now, many spell. Christians today, we are so used to uh, just going through the spiritual motions that sometimes that when we go through the wet seasons of our life, and I call that the Holy Ghost seasons. Come on. Yeah. Now, when we go through the wet seasons of our life and the Holy Ghost is blessing and the power of God's falling and people are receiving from God, it's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Right in the, yeah. right the spout when the glory oh, comes yeah. out. Oh. But then you're going to go out of the wet season and you're going to go through some dry yeah. seasons. So yeah.
out. Yeah. Come on. Is the rain still a pouring Come on. in yeah. your life? The Bible says Isaiah 48 and 21. And said, and they thirsted not when they led them through the desert. Yeah. He caused the waters to flow yeah. out of a rock for them. He played yeah. the rock also. And the waters gush out. Yeah. And the waters gush out. The prophet Isaiah was saying here, he was saying and preaching to Israel, he's saying that you've got to turn away from your false idolatries, God. And he warned them about the day of judgment. He warned them that you've got yeah. to turn from your falsehood and your false religion. Yeah. And you've got to climb out to the one true God. You see, I remember reading a story that where the children of Israel were going through the wilderness. And the Bible said they desired water to drink. And the Lord told Moses, He said, Moses, He said, I want you to go to the rock. I'm yeah. glad to know the Bible says in 1 Corinthians. 10 and 4. It said and they all did eat. They all did drink the same. A spiritual drink. Yeah. And that, that spiritual drink was the rock. And the rock was Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Yeah. Man. There's no other way that man can ever come to the Father except yeah. by the Spirit of God draws yeah. Are you still hungry? Are you still thirsty? On, Are you still desiring to drink from the goodness of yeah. God? When was the last time that you went down and you got filled with the Holy Ghost? Come on. Some people say, Brother Greg, I got filled Come on. with the Holy Ghost April the 17th of 1956. <laughs> well, <at> the lab, <laughs> when I look at you, I can tell that it's been about 60 years for some of you. Come on. Because the Holy Ghost hasn't moved on in a long time. I know what you say, preacher. I'm not as young as I used to be. You may not be as young as you used to be, but Jesus says, I'm the same yesterday, the same today. He'll be the same tomorrow. For some people, they remember that relationship. They remember that experience. They remember that visitation from God. Brother Derek, I've pastored those churches. I've been there with those gray haired mamas and daddies. I don't mean to offend you tonight. I don't mean to offend none of you. But I've been there with those gray haired mamas and daddies that all they talk about is the way things used to be. How God used to move. What I saw God used to do. I'm living in 2014. I'm ready to see a manifestation of the power of God. I don't know about you, brother. The same God that you served back in your day is the same God today. He's looking for somebody. He's looking for a vessel that he can pour in this Holy Ghost of God. We serve a God that is without limitations. You put limits on God. But this God tonight, He says if you're hungry, if you're thirsty, come ye to the waters and drink tonight. Yeah. Come on, get your stuff. Yeah, man, In 1 Kings chapter 18, Bible. the prophet Elijah yeah. looked over there and saw the prophets of Baal. The idol worshippers. Yep. He saw them worshiping their idol gods. The prophet Elijah, just like you and I, he went down and hid out for a season. Come Every on. morning, God calls the birds to come by yeah. and drop some food yeah. at him every day. Come on. Oh, that's come on. room yeah. service, ain't it, Brother yeah, Dad? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. he comes by and you ain't got to do on. nothing to get it, Woo. he just, you just wake up every morning and there it is. Yeah, the yeah. He's just pick it up and eat it. The brook was right there by his head. He could probably just roll over and cup his hands out up and, drink. and drink out of the yeah. brook. Yeah. But there was a day coming that God. God says, Elijah, you've 
laid by this brook long enough. Yeah. My told her about a lot of shit. She's laid by this brook long enough. You say, preacher, what are you getting at? There's some of you who have laid by that brook long enough. Every day. It's time to dust yourself off. Yeah. You've had a season of resting long enough. Ooh. God said, get up, Elijah, and go on down. Yeah. Time to move on. God on. told him, Elijah said, the prophet, old Jezebel, Come on. sought after his life. Oh, she was, she was mad at him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you got to watch him, spirits. Come on, brother. Come on. Go ahead. You got to watch him, spirits. Expose that thing, bro. Jezebel ain't the pretty woman that you look at all the time and looks over at you at Walmart when you walk past her and she winks at you. Jezebel's not the woman that forgets her, forgets most of her clothes. Come on, somebody. Come on. But that spirit of Jezebel is invading the church. Come on. It's invading ministries. Yeah, listen to Take you. It. That spirit of Jezebel sought after Elijah because Elijah had the mantle of God upon on his right. He was the one sit down. All of a sudden, he hid himself out yeah. in fear. He said, God, he said, I'm, I'm the only one left serving you. Amen. Yeah. 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 Come on. Have you felt like that lately? Come on. Have you felt like oh. Come don't on. nobody know what I'm going through? The dry spell. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Brother Derek. An outpouring. Brother Derek. Come on. Nobody knows. If you knew what I was going through, brother, you would come over to me and you'd minister to me. Come on. You don't know what I'm going through. You know, I miss church because I'm going through some things, Brother Derek. Come on. Sandra, I'm going through some things. I know you don't I know you think I don't like you, Sandra. But I'm just going through some things, honey. And when I don't stand up and worship now, it's because I'm going through some things. Now I can't get past it. I, I've got to go through some things because you think you're the only one that's got problems. Come on. You think you're the only oh, one that's got problems. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here to tell you there's men and women, boys and girls all over this land today that's going through battles and storms in their life. But can I tell you, oh. they're still standing. Yeah. They're still standing on the promises of God. Yeah. Oh, man. The prophet Elijah went to the 400 prophets of Baal. Come on. He stood across there with those idol worshipers. He said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. He said, we're going to put your God in a test. We're going to see which is the true God. Yeah, I love that kind of test, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a God that I can prove me now, saith the Lord. Yeah. And see if I'll open unto you the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings. Yeah. Glad to know I'm one of them blessings. Yes. I'm, I'm one of those, brother, that knows who Jesus Come is. On, brother. I'm glad I trust him, brother. I'm glad that sometimes yes. when I can't stand on my own, I can stand in him. Yes. For the Bible says, in him, we are complete in Jesus Christ. Yes. So the Bible said they had to erect them an altar. I'm going back to an altar for a moment. I had to erect them an altar. Go ahead. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. Man. They erected that altar to the God of Baal. They got over there to that God of Baal. And they started crying on to that God of Baal. Come on, brother. Yeah. Oh, Baal. Oh, Baal. Would you please come down upon this altar? Would you please come on down here and set the altar on fire? Yeah. Elijah looked across over there and started laughing at him. Yeah. Said, go ahead and cry a little bit louder. Yeah. Maybe your God's a little hard of hearing. You need to yeah. go wake him up. Oh, I'm preaching pretty good to you. Yeah. Maybe your God's gone on some kind of vacation. Yeah. He's out for a couple of days. Yeah. He's taking a couple of days off from your problems. Go ahead and cut yourself and do everything you yeah. know to do. Let me do 
to share something with you. You know there's a spirit going around today that people are cutting themselves. They're afflicting pain upon their bodies because they're trying to get somebody to give them some attention. The prophets of Baal did the same thing. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they did. All of a sudden, Elijah being the man of God that he was, Come on. He knew the one yep. true God yep, he did. that would answer by fire. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor it's still raining. It's still raining. It's still raining. Still raining. Still raining. Still raining. Still raining. God's not lit, not one of you down. It's still raining. Right. It's still raining. Oh, it's coming. The prophet Elijah looked up and he knowed that his God was the one on. true God. And I want you to know that God that answered by fire is the true God. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, the Bible said you and I, we are living epistles. We're known and read of all men. Yeah, we are. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. They know there's something different about you. They can sense something different yeah. about you because you've been in the presence of God. They can smell that in that incense of the anointing Woo! of God. Yeah. Let me share something with you for going to my brain in just a moment. Come on. Some of our incenses to God are purified incenses. Come on. Come on. You're right. You're, You're right. right Come on, brother. We're in the house of God and we're worshiping. Come on. And yeah. Get the glory out of it. Bless you. He receives that worship. That true worship comes up before Him as a sweet smelling okay. Savior. Mm. What smells good. Yeah. But when those that draws nigh to me with their lips. Come on, brother. Those that only raises their hands yeah. just to show off. Come on, come on. I've been around a few of those brothers. Come on, brother. I've been on. around a few of them that they just do things just so you can see who yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. When I lift up my hands, I'm going to pull my coat down and I'm going to make sure that every hair on my head don't get out of place. But when come you on. Come on. Jesus with your yeah. lips yeah. and your heart is far from him. Come on. You're not truly worshiping God. Come on. And that smell comes up before him. Yeah. And the Lord says, Shoo we that sure don't smell to me. That's right. right. Come on. Come on, brothers. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're right, brother. It's still a, it's still a rain. Yeah. yeah. I said it's still raining. Amen. That smell comes up before the Lord, and the Lord says, Shoo. It's not in the right perspective. Come on, brother. You're not worshiping me with your whole heart. Amen. The yeah. prophet Elijah looked across over there and said, Amen. We're going to see God send the rain. And it, Come on. Uh, he prayed, remember? And, yeah, right. yeah. and God held his hand back for rain. What was it? Three and a half years Three and a half years. Yeah. 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 God didn't send one bit of rain. Not a drop. But Not a drop. God said, the book right, you, now it's time to go on top of the mountain and look for that rain cloud. Go up there and tell me what you see, young man. Come on. I don't see nothing. Well, go on back up there and watch out for it. Look out for it because God said He was going to send the rain. Yep. He looked up there and He saw this cloud coming across the horizon. Oh, come on. He said, Elijah, He said, I see a cloud coming. Woo. Elijah, I, I see a cloud coming. The size of a man's head. Oh, my Lord and my God. I'm here to tell you, I see a cloud coming oh. on the city of Bethlehem. Yeah. The devil will get to see that's going to come Ooh. the size of a man's hand. Yeah. Revival is going to break out of the dead in this land today. Oh. I see revival coming. Day Schwartz, Alabama. I see revival coming in yeah. this land today. From they that hunger and thirst oh. after righteousness yeah. shall be yeah. Ahead, but this land sure could stand the revival. Yeah. 
Amen. I can't, I don't want to Amen. offend you. And if I do offend you, then I'm going to have to just tell you. Meet me in the altar and I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Come on. Amen. Revival needs to start you. all the way Come on. in the old office. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All the way down, bro. Yeah. All the way down. Yeah. Come on. Please, folks, don't be offended at me. You break it. I'm not mad at the man. Come on. I said, I'm not mad at the man. Come on. I pray for President Obama. Come on. I pray for his soul. But for a president that don't stand up for the word of God. Yeah. There's something wrong with him. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Right. When a president will tell you to something you can pray to any God that you want to pray to. Come on. There's something wrong with you. Come on. You're right, brother. And now all of a sudden, we got this quack down in Houston, Texas. Come on. Come on. Yep. yep. That says God created her to be a lesbian. Come on. Well, when I read the oh, book of Genesis, come on, I see when God created Adam. He created Adam. And he took the real out of Adam, formed him. Uh huh. A living being soul breathed his breath into him. Come on. He looked at Adam and said, Adam, what do you think we should call him? You think we should call him a man? Come on. Hello. Come on. Uh, Adam had more sense than the mayor of Houston, Texas does. Come on. He <laughs> said, I know exactly what we're going to call him. We're going to call this thing you created a real man. Whoa, whoa, man. Look at your neck and say, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because out of a man come the woman. Yeah. But this mayor out in Houston, Texas says, it's okay to be a homosexual. Let me just tell you something. I know the Episcopal Church is lasting homosexuals, gays, cookies in their pocket, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I know they're licensing them to preach, but I still believe that Come the on. United States of America is going to have to stand before a true and living God. Amen. Amen. Now, if God destroyed Solomon and Come on. For their sin. Oh, come on, brother. Come Don't on. Don't you not think God won't destroy the United States of America? He'll do it. He'll, yeah, do, it. he'll do it. God will send this Ebola. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He'll wipe out the wicked people. Yep. Yeah. Come yeah. on. He's famous for doing that. Come on. Amen. Maybe the mayor of Houston, Texas might need to get smit with it. Amen. Come on. Come on. And let her call on a God that she that she wants to call on. Yeah. And let's see which God answers her prayer. Come on, brother. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on. I've never ever saw a real atheist. Come on. Come on. Have you? Not really. I've never really saw a real atheist. Come on. Because every atheist that I ever saw. They believe in God. When it comes right down to the final breath. Yeah. Come on. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Why do you want to call on somebody that you don't really believe in? Amen. Pick up your rock and say, Oh rock. <laughs> yeah, come on. You're right. Oh evolution. Come on. come on. Go to your Jack Daniels and pick up your Jack Daniels over here and say, Oh Jack. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. I'm preaching good to you. Yeah, you are. Come on. Come on. Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. yeah. Revival needs to break out in America. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, It's brother. not about, and I'm getting ready to close. Bless me, Lord. It has nothing to do, and, and I please, <coughs> folks, don't be offended at me tonight. You just worry, it, right. Obey the spirit. I'm so sick. And tired of people talking about parties. Come on. And I'm not talking about drinking parties. <clears throat> Come on. You got your Republicans just as sorry and low down as the Democrats. Yeah, they are. You got your tea parties that's as crooked Come on. as the next person. Come on. Come on. Well, Brother Pace, who do we need to put a trust in? 
Amen. Amen. But one. Put your trust in one that will never let you down. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Right. Right. The name which is above every name. Amen. Man. Barack Obama one day, I don't care how powerful he is. Come yeah. on. One day Barack Obama's gonna have to bow yeah. to yeah. the name Jesus. Yeah. Amen. George W. Bush is gonna have to bow yeah. to the name of Jesus. Yeah. Bill Clinton is going to have to bow yep. to the name of Jesus. Come on, brother. You're preaching, brother. Diddy Bush is going to have to bow yep. to the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yep. Your prestige is not going to matter when you stand before Jesus. Exactly Come right. Come on, somebody. Amen. When you stand before Jesus, you better stand before him with a clean hands and a pure heart. Yep. When you stand before Jesus, you better know that any shadow of a doubt that you're, yep. that you're standing there with your heart clean, your hands clean, and